I'm one of four chiefs throughout the province of Ontario that represents uh, the Union of Ontario Indians that is going to sit and, and listen to health concerns. I envision um, our traditional medicines, our traditional way of life, that ceremony component in how our traditional healers, how our people have taken care of ourselves for thousands of years. Um, I like to see us go back to that way of life in conjunction with Western medicine. How can they find that common ground and to help our people um, Truly, I believe in the, the ceremony and, and that, um, and also the, the medicines that we have. Our elders, our medicine people, uh, that needs to be captured, that needs to be recorded, and that needs to be passed down. Um, we look at perhaps maybe a challenge that that faces with that statement made is that is our younger generation within our First Nations communities picking up what is being offered to them by our elders and our medicine people? If we work together, I see that as being a, a good, a, a, a very great initiative, not just good, but a great initiative to capture what our people are all about and what we need and what we see as, as important to us, you know, as stewards of the land, as the keepers of the land, those medicines, you know, that needs to be recognized and it needs to be utilized uh, at wherever they can find that common ground to help improve our health care that we require. trying to, in this particular instance here, while there are representatives of the, the schools of medicine, while, while they're here, we want to provide them with an exposure, with an experience, with a memory of our relationship with our environment as a medicine and encourage them to implement the essence of our view of medicine. Medicine is, is such an important part of our life as Indigenous people. We have a, a connection to our world, to our environment, and medicine is all around us. Uh, the water that we use, the leaves, the, the bark on the trees, the grasses, the roots, even ourselves. The elders talk about how important um, we as a people are as a medicine. Because we as a medicine have the ability to make somebody feel good or bad about themselves. So they say, carry a smile, be positive, uh, and brighten somebody's day. That's the best medicine that we can, we can give people. And so as the different uh, medical uh, models are evolving, we welcome and we hope to be able to participate in the development of the new approaches. I think we have a long way to go with marrying the different medical perspectives and um, I'm really sure that with the proper motivated people at the tables we can really see huge improvements with the quality of life for Indigenous people. And I don't think it's just here in Canada or in Northern Ontario. I think we can have an effect on the overall global health of people. Yes. And when we're healthy, the environment is going to be healthy. So overall, as a society, there's real value in having these types of gatherings and actually uh, discussing how we can improve the way we do things to try and stimulate the discussions and to encourage the discussions and, and to encourage partnerships so that we can really help improve the quality of life for all of us. Right now, we have a government that's sitting down and recognizing and meeting with 
First Nations people. Along comes this conference and, uh, you know, is Nawson giving us enough leeway? I believe they are. I truly believe the message that they've sent at this conference, uh, it speaks exactly to that, that they are coming to the table. They're here, they want our input. They want to hear our story, our way of life. Each community has their own uniqueness, their own way. So it's so important for them with this research gathering initiative to capture that and then deliver a, a program that's based on the individual communities. So it's exciting times and I'm excited to be the leader of our communities in these changing times uh, with this opportunity that's presented to us. So it's, it's, it's exciting.